Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. What's up, Gloria? Hello. What's up, Connor? Hello. All right. Oh, by the way, I screwed up the numbering on the Everything Show, so this will be probably – the numbering is going to be off tonight, just so you know. <laughs> so one number is going to be ahead of the other. It's going to be fixed by the end of the night, so there you go. All right. Yeah, okay, Gloria. Well, I just, uh, I was going to say this on the last episode, but we had to finish that one really quickly. Um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to mention that I got to see the movie Black Klansman. Um, and it was, the, I saw it on the opening night. Um, and it was awesome. I don't want to spoiler, be spoilery or anything, but it was an excellent movie. Really? Is, what I was the movie the again? Best, it's one of the best movies. I think everyone should watch Did it. Spike, who like, directed that? Spike Lee? Yes, yeah, Spike Lee. Spike and Adam Driver's in it, who, play, who plays Tyler and Flash. So, um, and he, he, I mean, it's such a good, the acting is really great. And it, I mean, if you know this, it's based on a true story. It's a couple of cops who go in and, and infiltrate, go inside and kind of go undercover. In oh, the okay. Day to try to take them down. And, right. uh, <laughs> you know, and, and they do. And it's so, you know, they got they do that. It's like, um. Adam Jarvis plays a character named Flip Zimmerman, who's Jewish, and he's a cop, he's an investigator, and uh, the main guy, Ron, is, is um, he become, becomes a cop, and then actually gets into the investigation department of the cop, of the um, police department, and so then they want him to, they want to go in and investigate, and so he actually calls up the chapter, the local chapter, and um, wants to get information, but then the, their chief is like, oh, you shouldn't have did that. So you need a guy, a white guy, to pose as you. So then they have one of the other investigators who is Flip, you know, um, Adam Driver's character. And he goes in and does it. And um, and it's like he's not, he, he is, he does a good job at keep it. But there's a couple of times he actually almost slips up and reveals that he's not like them and stuff. And it's like, and, but he gets out of it easily. He kind of. Uh, you know, good save kind of thing. Okay. Um, with a couple of times that he almost slipped up, but it, there's a, like there's it's humorous, but then it's also poet, poignant because there's like um they go to a rally at the beginning of the movie of the um the native um the um the black people and yeah. they they are the the speaker who is speaking in that rally. Yeah. His speech is really amazing, and I love the way they filmed it. They have the um, I I don't know I don't know. It's just hard to explain it without spoiling it, but it's just the way. <laughs> All it right, is. so it, it is really doing gorgeous, and it was really it makes you think, and it makes you start to like really you know get emotional about it. And, um, right. and all the other stuff that they do in the movie, and it's like it's doing it's doing good. Um, yeah, it's doing it so. It passed good. its budget already, uh, so. Still making money. Everybody, sure. everybody, everybody I've seen that has seen it has all good things to say about it. About right. all the acting. My favorite thing about it was the dynamic between Adam Driver's character Flip and then uh, John David uh, Washington's character Ron's um, dynamic and their partnership and their friendship and stuff. They're they're acting together. I hope they get to act again in another movie because they did. So good, and I love that John David uh, Washington said on um, interviews he, he when he talks about working with Adam. They all, all his, all his coworkers always say these kind of things, like how he's so like um, uh, dedicated to his his acting and everything, and then right. he's, but he's also humble and everything. Um, so yeah, it's like, and he's like all like glowing talking about it. So I'm like totally would see another movie with him if they did another movie together because they did so good, and it was like romance. Like, but it's like, <laughs> but in a not in an obvious romance way, but like a brother, like a right. Brother, like, <clears throat> If they ever did a remake of uh, Rush Hour or uh, Lethal Weapon, do you see it possibly <laughs> doing those two? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it was really, and it was humorous, more humorous than I thought it was going to be. There's a, uh, there's some digs at Trump. Oh. That are really oh, good. Better be careful. <laughs> yeah. You know. Um, we got some. That's what I. That's how I got my dad to go. <laughs> I told him about that, mm -hmm. and because um, I heard about that, just the the Trump parts. 
um, the dig that Trump. So, yeah. And they even do this thing at the end that's kind of really shows you about how the, how we, the, the way that our, the climate that we're in now. Okay. And it has stuff at the very end about that. And it, it really hooks it all together and lets you know how serious the situation is and how this movie is really, you know, it need, it's needed and people need yeah. to see this movie. It's okay. really, <clears throat> really highlights stuff and it makes you think and it stays with you. You know, it's been like, I don't know even how many days now and I feel it's still on my mind. That's good. When a movie stays in your yeah, mind, you like it. That's yeah, good. It, it's like it lingers and not just the, you know. I was like that with Quiet Place. The thoughts. I like, you know, right? We were talking, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. It was good. like, you heard me talking about it. Right? We were like, oh, what if, what happened here? You know, <laughs> I, when, when it gets you talking, yeah, exactly. that's amazing. Me and my what dad about? were at home, we were talking about it because it was so, you know. And we got some news. Um, not news that we were kind of looking forward to, right, Scott? But uh, the Batman uh, <laughs> prequel series, Pennyworth. Uh, Alfred becomes a butler is not something we really gave a shit about, but they're actually making a series. Scott's like, oh man. No, you don't use that spoon. You use this, but not rich. You know, so, this, this is ridiculous. Aunt May at some particular time, and uh, it's like it's do you, unneeded. Um, so move aside, Bruce Wayne. It's time for Alfred Pennyworth to get on the series. So basically, this is developed by Gotham producers, okay? I didn't know it was going to get connected to Gotham, but it looks like it may, um, which is like, oh. Um, this Pennyworth and Gotham will actually exist in two separate universes, meaning that Gotham's Alfred star uh, sean perch we won't okay so we won't Ugh. this is an alternate universe okay not connected to gotham that way if it sucks it right doesn't <laughs> right <laughs> exactly scott <laughs> exactly there's the suck <laughs> factor saying, if it sucks right that's why right. well, let's call it the worlds of dc because if that universe sucks the hell would it right nice title so so basically, all these sucky movies, right, have been an elsewhere in the elsewhere. Well, this is, not even, this is a TV TV show of suckness, right? Okay. So now parallel, we're gonna parallel universe of suckish. Right, we're gonna have Pennyworth, which is an alternate reality universe. Then we're gonna have another alternate universe called Metropolis, where oh, Lois Lane and Lex Luthor oh, are young. Uh like detective weird x file oh, shit yes <laughs> dealing with superman's villains without superman because they don't have the budget for that oh my goodness i like to see lois lane take on doomsday i really couldn't wait to see that right it's going to be canceled like that show powers right yes the insurance company that that oh, was yes. yeah sorry I saw, I saw the scenes for that and I'm going to, I was thinking that's going to get at least three or four episodes and yeah it was over it was over it, just crazy. like damage control for Marvel would not work and I know I think they know that nobody gives a shit about that um I mean people got the book but you know executive producer James then again there, then again there was a shortage of toilet paper at the time so now I'm just kidding out here. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm looking forward to it. I know you're not, Gloria, but the American Horror Story <laughs> crossover. Nope. <laughs> that that uh, was the funniest thing, Scott. When we were talking about, she was right. You were watching it, yes. hotel, and the opening scene, right with Gaga. You freaked out, right, Gloria? Mm -hmm. I could. Great. I couldn't. I mean, not just that scene. All of. The, I mean, I I powered through that uh, the the first episode and lady gaga showed a lot more than a poker face but in that episode I'm Damn. You, I could not deal with it after that oh that no was, i mean i loved monster house or i mean murder house that was my favorite season. right that, you know hello first season but that 
that season is my season. I love that season. And even freak shows, you know, okay. But this but season should be your season coming I up. I do not like anything after that. All the other But this season I coming up is a sequel to Murder House. Um, I thought of that. And I'm like thinking maybe. I mean, it okay. depends. Here, and this is, I don't know if you saw the trailer, okay, but he, here's the premise of it, okay? The Antichrist was being raised by Jessica Lang, right? Mm -hmm. At the end of mm -hmm. Murder House one, right? Yeah. So the witches of the coven have to stop it, but they don't, and the apocalypse happens. <laughs> so they showed this piece in the teaser where they showed a witch's or, or yes. thing's hand take the hourglass and reverse it. Mm -hmm. So being that this takes place 18 months in the future, which they've never done that with American Horror Story, by the way, mm -hmm. and because the whole universe is connected now, they can't end the world because then they can't continue past that year. So there's probably some time travel witch cast spells involved where they undo the events of the apocalypse, mm. which would also alter hotel <laughs> because then maybe Lady Gaga wouldn't die and your favorite <laughs> witch there wouldn't die either. So, something to keep in mind. All right. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't finish that. That's <laughs> yeah. I couldn't deal, I couldn't deal with it. That was it for me. I know, I, you were I, done. I, you were so done, I know. I checked out of it. She checked out. <laughs> She's like, say in. Never, <laughs> never return. Like, like church chat. You like church chat. You're like, ah, what's <laughs> that? That's why you were glad when she went country, right? She changed the look yeah. and everything. I actually love that trailer. Right. I want to see that movie. Um, oh, uh, Star is Born. Yeah, Star is Lady Born. Lady Gaga. Yeah, I, I want to see that. Look good, just, have to say. That looks good. Yeah, that looks good. It does look good. But that's going up against. Is that going up against Star Wars? What's that going up against? No, that's I, not going up against Star Wars. What's that going up against? Something big, right? I don't know. I it, was that, it was on the pre, the preview uh, before Black Klansman, but I can't remember when it said that it was. Coming what do you think of Star Wars, Miss Star Wars Lady? Which one? The new one coming out. Uh, you mean uh nine? Nine. Yeah. I mean, they're filming it. All right. So, I mean, we don't know that much about it yet, but we know some you think, stuff. You think your Ray and, and your Ray Low thing is going to happen? I hope not. Yeah, yeah. you crazy. He's getting redeemed. He's getting redeemed. I'm telling you. He's they not. They coded him. Coded He's dying. Him. They coded him as so being redeemed. He's on a road to redemption. They're both going to croak. No. no more Skywalker. Oh, so now you think both of them are? I think both of them are going to croak. <laughs> yeah. That's such a depressing ending. No, it is, but you know what? Ending. I don't know. What does it do with time right. jump? Okay, Joe, have you ever heard about the whole thing about tragedy versus comedy? Romeo and Julia? No, yeah. tragedy versus comedy. How yeah. something starts out as tragedy, it has to end up in... Uh, in, in and it's all about this whole uh, uh, Joseph Campbell and all that kind of stuff that same kind of stuff that George I Hill think Kylo Ren the used the force to move the scar. I, I'm going to use that excuse, but I get <laughs> Well, now they did that because they wanted to kind of uh, show it. To I know. Uh, like Anakin's, you know, right. because, you know, they're having him. It's an inverse of Anakin. They're what movie are you looking Connor. forward to, Connor? Uh, upcoming. Yes. Uh, Venom. First, um, the one that the main film next year that I'm looking forward to is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Ah, hmm. Quentin Tarantino, right? Yeah, which is Tarantino because Mar that that cast, that cast list. Margot Robbie, really shit. Leonardo right. DiCaprio, yeah. Brad Pitt, Al Pacino, Al um, Burt Reynolds. Um, no oh, fuck, I've got, Margot, uh, Margot, Margot Robbie, Robbie, right? Margot Robbie's in there as well, yeah. Um, oh, there's so many fucking, like, Jesus. it's insane. It's got to be the best cast list of a movie. Wow. In history. Wow. Um, and then I'm also looking forward to... Well, what about um, Tom, Tom, Tom... What about his other movie, Al Capone? You're going to watch that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to see that. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, 
I still can't believe he was a Star Trek villain in Nemesis. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, you remember that? Yeah, I know. Yeah, he was young. Yeah. He was a clone of Picard, but like a clone of a Picard as a Romulan like a mixture or something. He was a mutt Picard. <laughs> that was a weird movie. Um, you think Venom's going to do well? I hope so. I do. Yeah. I do hope so. Um, I because I, th- I think it's just great casting. I think Tom Hardy would be amazing. Woody Harrelson, though, is carnage. Isn't that w- Woody Harrelson, Riz, Riz Ahmed as well, isn't yeah. there? Um, Michelle Williams. It's not. It's really not a bad cast. No, no. I think it'll do well. I am, though, concerned with Sony's... Um, their choices of, I know that they're scared to go under and they don't want to be sold like to Disney or whatever and they want to hold on to their picture division, but they're just taking, they're being worse than DC and they're taking characters and they're throwing them to the wall. Yeah. So you're going to have a Morbius movie. You're going to, not only now are you not going to have Silver and Black, but you're going to give a movie just to the Black Cat and to Silver Sable, which is terrible. Oh, good lord. And Craven the Hunter movie. So they're making all movies on Spider Man villains. Oh, well, I forget. How do, you, how do you spell Craven? Is it a C or a K? It's, it's a K. Okay. Because the other day, a, uh, was a, I wish I remember to take a picture of it, but uh, they already came for the merchandise. But they, uh, their last name was Craven. Oh, uh, was uh, though? Yeah, it was a C. It was still yeah, no, it was a K. Funny, yeah. It was funny as hell seeing that. <laughs> So I'm concerned. I, I I do like the casting of Men in Black, which originally was going to be a spinoff, but no longer. It's Men yeah. in Black 4. Because the whole thing is they want to continue the universe with Men in Black. But the Men in Black universe was around before, like I guess in the comics, before they did it with Will Smith yeah. and Tommy Lee Jones. But they, they don't want to be in a position where if the actors don't want to do it, the whole franchise dies. So they want to show all the members. Yeah. And yeah. then if the quote a spinoff is not really capitalizing on Men in Black. So this is a sequel. This is the UK branch. Um, Chris Hemsworth leads that branch. Liam Neeson is the head of Men in Black UK. Okay. Right? And then Emma Thompson, who was in the head of the Men in Black in America... She's going to be interacting with them there. So it's similar to uh, Tessa Thompson is the part going to be the Will Smith type character rookie joining, I guess, whatever. Yeah. So it's going to be a whole new cast. Um, so I'm looking forward to Men in Black Four now. Yeah. So it's pretty much like the Kingsman where they set that thing up. And Tessa Thompson also won the role of they're doing a live action version of Lady and the Tramp. Yeah. Which I'm excited about. She's going to be the female you know, lady. Yeah. I guess it's CGI. Maybe. Or maybe not. She's going to voice her. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Disney now has to put live action versions of every damn anime and stuff they've ever had here. I do think period. they're doing that. Well, I want to see a, a live Lilo, action. Lilo and Stitch live King. action would be nice. Yeah. Can't wait well, for Lion King. That one's going to be yeah. amazing. Enough. What I w- would love to see them do is Coffin Comics has got a uh, character called Lady Death. There yeah. was a uh, there was a, an animated thing about a few years ago, but still, I would love to see a live action version of that. Right. That would be awesome. That's and, awesome. They, right. and they I did make like their uh, they did make their Kickstarter to put out this uh, their next branch too. So. I right. would like a live action uh, movie of Fern Gully. Really? Yeah, I love that. That that's a really I I love that animated movie. I love fairies. They're I'm making a, a sequel to Chicken Little. Is it Chicken Little or something? No, not Chicken Little. Well, they could. So what? It was a one. One of the one of the things they're making uh, a sequel to. I forgot what it was called. Yeah. So. They are making that though. Yeah. Originally, that was yeah. Sofia Coppola, but then it's not her no more though. 
Yeah. Oh, and they're making Legally Blonde 3, which... Yeah, I'm so excited about that one. I love Legally Blonde 3. <laughs> and Bill and Ted, if they ever get that off the ground. Yes, I want to see the third one. Second John one Wick 3, I want to see, though. second one was okay, but the first, the first one was still my favorite. You don't want to see John Wick? The new one? John Wick, I'm... I'm really? Uh, yeah. Why? Because I felt about the second one. To you me, didn't like the second one? The second one was okay, but like I constantly said, I felt sorrier for the dog than I did for the, the, the John. Mm. I'll see it, but it's just that, eh. So finally, so, you know. finally getting the last season of The Clone Wars. Anime. Yes. That's pretty cool. Yay. <laughs> no. I'm excited about that because that was a long time waiting <laughs> for yeah. that. Uh, what else do we have? Um, oh, Chucky. They're going to be filming the... Um, Next month. They're going to be filming it, the reboots next month. But the live action episodes, I think, are done or almost done for the TV series. I I just saw that and I immediately sent it to you because I, I, I said... Yeah. Uh, Tomorrow is the premiere of the new Puppet Master reboot, The oh Littlest Reich, which can be seen in selected I theaters. So much when I was a kid. As what? What happened? That movie scared. Those movies scared me so much as a kid. <laughs> why did it scare you? My my sister watched them, and I don't know why. My sister was just not the type of sister that would. My, she didn't care that I was young and I should be watching scary movies, but she would just watch them and I'd just be in the in the area, in the room, or whatever. She wouldn't care. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Oh, man. Why, man? I just, it's just like, you know, it's like that whole thing, like, you, you think your <laughs> laser coming off when you're asleep. I'm going to send this to your house. It's like a scary version of Toy Story. <laughs> Please stop. What? Are you really getting freaked out? Yes. They, they, they scarred me. They emotionally scarred they me. They scarred you? Come on. Uh... It's good that way. I mean, I don't. I mean, I saw, I saw other scary movies growing up, but I mean, I don't know why. They just were like really one of the worst. <laughs> I, I remember Scott how I really wanted to be in the new movie. I almost spent yes. the money, right? This is another one. I almost spent the money to be killed in the movie, right? But I couldn't. I had to, whatever. But I wanted to, right, Scott? Remember that? I was like, oh, but then I have to fly out, right? They fly you out there, and then you got to get killed. Like, yeah, nah. <laughs> that was, that, that, you know, that would have been cool, though. I don't movies. even think I've seen any of those movies all the way through. I just remember seeing scenes, and they. What was it like? A thousand. Remember, me. Scott was like a thousand dollars, right? It was a thousand to death. Yeah. Thousand dollars to get killed, right? Yeah. Oh no, was it thousand dollars to name something, and then no, it was thousand dollars to die, right? I think so. I and then you have to pay yeah. for to fly out there, right? Yeah, I would have to. Pay. It's more than it was like something thousands. But you were helping making the movie, though. Yeah. Like whatever movie people contributed. It's a Kickstarter type of setup. Right. It was Indigo. Yeah, it was Indiegogo. Yeah. And and they wanted to finish the movie, and they they ran out of money, right? So they're like, all right, we'll have um, the puppets kill you. <laughs> you know. And I was like, oh, yeah, I would have been really dead if I would have paid for that. Yeah, no. Sharing would have made certain of that. Yeah, I, I, as it is with the pillows. Yeah, no, that would not have happened. That I would have been single. No. That would have been bad. Yeah. No, I know. I'm not going to do anything stupid. But um, it would be nice one day, though, to be in a movie. Yeah. Not not my time yet, though. Because I had a friend uh, from North Carolina. She said, uh, I don't remember which for, uh, Hellraiser movie it was, or was it Freddy Krueger? It was either Hellraiser or Freddy Krueger. But uh, a friend of hers was in it. Oh, really? Yeah, a friend of hers was in, and you could tell because it was uh, she was wearing a particular necklace, and that was that was oh, her. Oh shit! Okay. And I, and I got a. My, my sister lives in um, Lakeland, Florida, 
Okay. And they have the, um, actually, I think it's, yeah, Lakeland, they have the strip mall where they had, that. that's in the um, Edward Scissorhands. Is oh, there? shit. Strip mall there. Okay. And so I got to see that mall, that strip mall. Um, and then also near there, that they have the house, the exterior part of the house of the My Girl house. Oh, my nice. Girl. The exterior of it, not the interior. Yeah. Right. Um, and so I got to see the porch. I got to sit on the porch. You know, the nice. <laughs> okay. So that's cool. Those those locations, you can go to different locations to see where they filmed. It's kind of cool. It's let like, me let me go over a quick box office before we get out of here. Uh, this is the box office as of let's see, as of the fifteenth of August. So this is what Wednesday. I guess this is Wednesday. All right, so Crazy Rich Asians, oh. number one so far. Let's see. see Five let's million. So. Yeah, beat Meg. The Meg. The, the Meg is number two for now. On a, I guess it's a Wednesday. Uh, 213 million. Not really doing well. Really doing well. Uh, Mission Impossible Fallout, number three. 458 million. Damn. Damn. He's like wrecking people. <laughs> Disney's Christopher Robbins number four. Loved it. Really? Sixty-eight <laughs> million. Wow. Peter Capaldi's in that, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he is. He's playing Rabbit. Yep. Well, isn't uh, Toby Jones in that too? Yeah, he's Piglet. Okay. Jesus, <laughs> that's awesome. Love the voices. They did a good job. Black Klansman is number five, I think. Fifteen million, and then number six is Mamma Mia. Here we go again, <laughs> which is two ninety one. I heard they're making a third one now. Oh Jesus! I know, yeah, right? Yeah, that's that what it was. Uh, when they heard the third one, they go, "Oh, Mamma Mia!" F oh, it is so terrible. It's it's awful. Shit! Oh, it's diabolical. It, <laughs> it, it, oh. I can't even believe they made a second one, though. What the fuck? I'm sorry, the, Gloria. The only reason why the first one was a success was because of Meryl Streep. Right. Yeah. yeah. The second one, you kill her off. You know, right. you, you, you don't work. Well, not... Let's look at this one. She probably wanted to be. I mean, yeah, who the hell wants to be in a third one, then? Shit. I just don't. Get, get uh, oh, you... As you well. want to know an example of, of a movie they totally effed up? I I understand. Listen, here's the thing, right? They made the movie Slender Man, and I know people really died, right? But this is supposed to be. I know it's based on a true story, but it's not supposed to be really the true story. It's supposed to be like characters and stuff, right? So the I guess the the, the real life victims like relatives or something went down hard on like flipping out on the movie company and they panicked and they cut tons of stuff out of this movie like where it became from rated r to pg oh god <laughs> and they ruined the movie got ruined like ruined they ruined the not not anybody the, the fact that they changed it they ruined the yeah. movie um, so why even put it out at all then? But they should yeah, just that, put it out the video if that was going. It's be bombing. Good. It's bombing. Yeah, they should just put it out the DVD. Fifteen million. It's or Netflix. Yeah. So now number eight, Hotel Transylvania three. That's success. It's uh, three hundred eighty-two million. It's a win-win. There'll probably be a fourth one. Um, there was already talk about being a fourth. Spy who dumped me. Yeah, you saw it. You said you liked it. It's, it was good. It didn't beat its budget yet. It's not a success it, at all. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a, a sequel. I don't, I don't want to see a sequel to this because it's a one-shot movie. Right. Equalizer two was one hundred two million. Whatever. That's success. It doesn't have to do that much money. All I'm gonna say is the scene where they're trying to drive the stick shift. That was awesome. <laughs> And we ooh, flying here, and then we got Ant Man and the Wasp. Is, it, is that a ten play? Uh, out of a uh, top ten, wow, really? four fifty. But you know what though? It hasn't been released yet in Japan, China, a whole bunch of places. So that move, that number is going to jump where it's going to surpass Ant Man one. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. Incredibles two has in one billion 
90 million. Jesus. Okay, it was good. Hopefully it's not going to be tons of years before the, before the next yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then Fallen Kingdom uh, has in 1 billion 280 Fallen million. Kingdom. Wow. Fallen Kingdom. I don't even. Jurassic World, too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Woo. That's a lot. Yeah. Teen Titans Go to the Movies has in, it's out of the, you know, 31 million and plus 10 million to make. So they, they made money with that. Let me just check the release schedule. Because we've got the Nun coming out soon, right? Yes, and they got in trouble for a uh, trailer. Yes, YouTube uh, pulled it. Oh, yeah, that scared was... the shit out of people. Because it started off thinking they thought their volume was being screwed with, and then the next thing they know, this face comes shooting out the shoot out oh. of the damn screen. Mile twenty two isn't that with um, Walking yeah. Dead's uh, Maggie? Maggie yeah. and it's got yeah. uh, Marky yeah. Mark in it too. Yeah. Right. And then Happy Time Murders. Oh, there you go, Scott. That's coming out uh, the week after. And then you got um, The Nun is coming out in September, I guess, with Peppermint. Oh, Peppermint and, looks good. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody should be coming out either September or October. I, is The Predator still coming out on time? or I've On the 14th of September? I thought they're still filming it, though. That's weird. We're gonna find out about that movie, because they missed. They, he kept. He's keep. He's still reshooting it. Yeah, that's just. If it comes out in December or uh, October, uh, December or November, I'll be surprised. October fifth is Venom going up against Lady Gaga. Wow, what a what a combo that's. Been. <laughs> Jesus, Goosebumps two is the week after. I just never could get into that series. Halloween. What do you think about that, Connor? Halloween. Um, not really a fan of um, that, to be honest. Yeah, um, give me the Curtis or not? Nah, just. What about Johnny English Strikes Again? Oh God! Not seen. I've only seen the first one. Not really bothered about it. it just, it's not going to. I don't think it's going to make much money. Okay. Uh, what about Bohemian Rhapsody? You care about that or not? I will watch that. Yeah. Dr. Seuss, the remake of the animated Grinch Stole Christmas. Wow. That's with uh, Cumberbatch, isn't it? Yes. When's the uh, Joker film coming out? God. Um, good question. When is that coming out? Now that's a film I'm looking for all the time. Mm, look in January. Let's see. Oh, no, they didn't even film it yet. So not this, yeah, not but, next year. We'll on mid next year or something. Well, yeah. I guess late next year would be because they didn't even film it. Glass, I'm looking forward to in January. That, did you ever see Unbreakable? Huh? No. Oh, no. that's a great. Yeah. M. Night Shyamalan. I don't yeah. know if you said you it's saw. Like uh, party. Yes. Dark Phoenix yeah, is okay. coming out on February 13th. Okay. That X Men movie. Hopefully that's good. Dead X Men movie or next? X -Men? No, it's a that X Men movie. Oh, you said dead. So that meaning I don't know how it's going to be. It's going to be that movie. Joe, did you go? Did you go see? You said you always go see um, her, um, Melissa McCarthy, uh, Life of the Party. No, we actually missed it, but I I saw it on demand. We're going to order it. Yeah. We're going to watch that. Uh, we we her. we like her movies. I mean. Yeah, but. I do too. I I mean, I I liked her back in Gilmore Girls. <laughs> That's right. where I started loving her. Um, but yeah. It's Captain Marvel, we're going to see. Yeah. You're going to watch her in Happy Time Murders or you're not? Maybe not. I don't You don't want you're not into that. Even though I said I wasn't, the more I see the scenes, I think I am. I don't watch every one of her movies, but I do like her acting. We watch all her movies, yeah. <laughs> Pet Cemetery remake goes up against Shazam. Wow. This is in um, April. Um, uh, Shazam looks good, but I think Pet Cemetery is going to beat it. Avengers. Now, you know what? Here's the thing, right? Avengers is supposed to come out May, right? But we heard rumblings that they move, move it up. If they move it up, they're going to screw up Shazam. You know that, right? Yeah. Which, that, that might be on purpose, though. And if they do that on purpose, that means that that rivalry is real. Like, yeah. still. Like, they don't give a shit. They're mad at DC for some reason. So now, if they get gun, the the moment DC gets gun and what WB, 
that's when they'll do it. That's when they'll purposely move it. It's up. too early for that now, though. Yeah, not this still, year. Watch. They'll when they pick it when the WB and uh, when Warner Brothers and uh, Disney and Warner Brothers and uh, DC grabs gun. That's going to be the week, the week of, the week later. You're going to hear that. The uh, earliest we could see James Gunn in a movie would be in 2020. That's because yeah. they got to film in 2019. Whatever he does, yeah. right? So that's when you'll the see. The moment the word, uh, literally, the moment the word comes out that Warner Brothers and uh, DC's got gun, they will move Avengers up. They don't care if he's doing a movie 15 years in the future. Boom, they'll move that up. He's gonna he's gonna cause some damage. Yes. To them. Definitely. And they're gonna feel like it. you know what though? Good for them though. Like let yeah. them get destroyed. Because you know what though? They they do a couple more bad movies, like what they keep screwing up Star Wars. Yeah. That they paid four and a half billion for that. They're gonna be screwed with that. Um and the moment and, and the way with superhero movies that they screw up any of the superhero movies, which are not yet, by the way, but that may happen. Eventually, I think Steven Spielberg predicted that. He said that that's going to happen. There's going to be a, a fatigue, right. superhero fatigue or something. Yeah. So, Charlie's Angels next year too. That's going to Kristen Stewart. That's going to be interesting. Oh, uh, Connor, October, 2019. Oh, right, okay. For the Joker. Okay, and then Adam's Family is the week after, which is at what animated. And then Zombieland two. Yes, I got wow. that. Wow. I'm just super zapping into the future with this. Uh, wow, Wonder Woman is in November, and then the week later is James Bond. Yeah. That is sick. And then a Marvel movie, which is untitled, which is probably Doctor Strange 2, I'm yeah. thinking. Um, that's in November. And then December 2019, Jumanji sequel already. Wow. Episode 9, Masters of the Universe. Okay. How far do we got in the future here? Jesus. Look, oh, Doctor Sleep, that's going to be something we're doing that comes out. Peter Rabbit 2. Oh, yeah. They're going to sequel to that too. Bloodshot, Vin Diesel. Oh, that's going to be interesting. G.I. Joe 3. Finally. March 2020. I wonder if that's. Promise, I wonder if that was always there and then. They're going up against Mulan. Are they effing serious? Oh, they're going to get They're going to be killed. They're yeah, going to be killed. The, they'll be That's lucky stupid. to get number two. That's stupid. Yeah. Move yeah, that movie. Yeah, Joe's three. They'll be lucky if they get uh, two. Uh, Barbie movie in May 2020. Yeah, wow. Big whoop. What? There's another Scooby-Doo movie? Oh, no. It's animated Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maleficent 2. Oh, they're actually making that. Okay. Six billion dollar man. That movie's been delayed for two damn years. I still don't see him. I do not see him as uh, Steve Austin. No. No, I don't. Another SpongeBob movie. Jesus. Wow. I mean, I, I'll be. I mean, granted, I'll see it, and if he turns out to be great, he'll be great. But I just did not see. I just don't see him as playing. Six million dollar man. I know. I know it's the six billion man dollar man, but Steve Austin still. Mike were not in October twenty twenty. Okay. Wow. Damn. That's interesting. Rugrats the movie, animated, the new one. Oh, it is. It's not live action. Oh. So then Karen Gillan is voicing that then. Yeah. Yeah. And Why Sherlock not? Holmes that's three is what? set. For December twenty twenty. The ROM movie, so Micronauts has got to be. So that's going to be interesting. So, so they got Avatar two December twenty twenty. 